Generic greetings, and welcome back to Prison Architect Warden Mode. In the previous episode, we got a lot built and also a lot changed about. As you can see, from the top down, we got our yard. That was the one previous uh, episode, but... Um We've also got the common room, which was originally slated for this section here, and actually it was in this entire section, and we decided to put in a parole here, but that didn't work out because of what we did down to this section here, because this is going to be security, and then we decided that this is going to be our this is going to be our death row, and we've got all of the cells in there and things like that. We will be changing that in a moment anyway, but at least we sort of nailed that on the head and then this bit here we went yeah we'll have a protective custody perfect and then we decided that because of the protective custody here and then the parole here the common room was far too small so we ditched the other parole so we've just got this now so that's all fine it's working we do need to this episode get the protective custody done we need to wire up the cctv and we also need to change this area around here so we're going to dismantle all of the cctv i'm going to get all of the all of the major, major building done because we need to demolish some of these brick walls and other stuff and get a lot of heavy industry stuff done. Uh, some heavy planters. So demolish walls, demolish all of that there. We then need to add some more walls because we're going to have it so that we shift this down by one and we have one, two, three, four, five, one. And then we have our cells in as normal. So it was one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then there you go. So, in this corner, we still have our death row. But then, we have all of the cells moved along and the parole. And there you go. So, that's death row peels. Then you've got your three cells, same size, and then your bit the bomb. Excellent. Okay. So, let us wire up some things from these CCTV monitors, because they've been getting on mine and everybody's nerves since we started. So, we'll have one, two, three, four. And... Ooh, hang on. Stop that there. Cancel. We're going to go around and we're going to cancel, start everything from scratch. And it's more easy to navigate when you're not looking at the <laughs> schematic one. So, there we go. So immediately, watch out, look at the sight lines. A lot less. Although, a lot less annoying because it's not, it's not strobing like a Japanese cartoon. Two, three, four. There's those put in. We will probably have then this one set up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That works out quite well. Excellent. We'll go to the far right. And the bottom one will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Done. I'm not doing any more on that one. This next one. One, two. Just check. Nope, nothing down there. That's fine. One, two. Three, four, five. Okay, happy with that one. This top one. One, two. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight, and there we go. That should be all the CCTV monitors up and running. None of them are flashing. They will still turn off when the guards rotate. So when they go for a break, and the guard has to change over because it doesn't work on a principle of my break is ready and I can only go for it when someone else turns up. So if they turn up and say, right, your your break, you go. They just go. What time is it? Oh, break time! And then they just turn around and walk off. Even if they're holding, like, the keys to a nuclear bomb, they'll be like, yep, yeah, I'm technically on a break. I'm going over there now. And then everything shuts down. <laughs> um, so that's a problem. That's just a quirk of the game. So things will still turn on and off, but nowhere near as much as they used to, which is good because <laughs> it was getting really annoying. So other bit of work we have to do, cells. There we are. Pause for a moment. Deployment, protective custody, Bosch, straight away. Because we don't want any more people turning up. That would be bad. 
So we will have in these cells beds, obviously. I mean, you'd probably assume that that was going to be the case, didn't you? Uh, the toilet will go there. We'll have then all of the luxuries of home, I think. Or at least the ones we can get. Like that. Chairs. Um, bookshelves. And hang on. There we go. Don't have a radio, but we've got the rest in. Actually, yeah, we could probably get rid of the desk. We could make it better. We could make this better because the desk is still only one rating. That's what we have to remember. It's still only one rating. But if we do that, we can actually fit in a... God, we've got a chair. We don't have a radio. There we go. We can fit one more in. There we are. It's fine. So... We'll have to check our utilities. We don't have the pipe running up as far as we need it yet, so we're going to run it to there. That should be more than sufficient. And the toilets are that, that. And honestly, that is the most efficient way of doing it. Then we'll have this run down, because we'll have the toilets in the corner, you see, and that should reach the bottom. Obviously, the we should have a shower technically in these, but they're too small. Which is a bit of a shame. Could we fit a shower in? We could. Dismantle the bookshelves. And what we do is have a drain like that. And then a shower head. Right next to the radio. Because that's, you know, health and safety. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> Probably won't be fine. So those are in, and there we are. That's good. Excellent. So we'll see how that one gets on. So, still got people arriving. In terms of our prisoners, we've got 40 high risk, 60 normal. Very nice, very nice ratio. Obviously, that'll go up when we get these. So we'll end up having... Hang on. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18... Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Okay, so it'll be the same for both, I believe. Cool. That's good. That's fine. No low risk prisoners. Haven't bothered. Just haven't bothered. For whatever reason. But you know, we still haven't got this it just still doesn't have a purpose. I'll leave it for now. Don't need to bother with it too much. So, how are we doing down the bottom? It is okay. Oh, we haven't got that CCTV monitor connector rated, do we not? Ah, yeah, we're going to put it on a different grid. Because what I was going to do is have the CCTV cameras put back in. One, two, three, four. And then obviously one in here as well. To check that out. Ah, actually, probably best to put it down the bottom because I believe... I believe Death Row... Which we don't have. Let me start. Um, yeah, let's. I should probably start getting. Oh, we've got death row. We'll get execution liability as well. Where is death row then? Ah, oh, it's not called death row, is it? It's called execution. That's why. There's execution. Coming away there, or is this next door? That oh, is next door. What's this? I don't know. Anyway. So in here, electric chair. I don't think you can rotate it. No, you can't. So it's going to have to be up here. And then we'll have our chairs in like that. Alright. Now. Naturally, all this is going to get changed to death row. That's protective custody. That's sorted. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot of CCTV. And what we need to do now, go to informants, and we need to see if anyone is a known snitch. And start putting them in protective custody if need be. Haven't seen any legendary prisoners. We haven't seen that for a long time, actually. I don't believe. 
We'll get Supermax and such. I did, when I first started the game, let me go down normal speed here. Just check and see if there's any ones. No, some unknown traits. We'll have to be careful of that. I did have a look at the uh, mutators, I think they're called. Right at the start of this series. And, uh, I mean, some of them are like daft ones like Big Head Mode and other things like that. And we... We decided not to go for a lot of the extra ones like... Well, I think we can actually look, can't we? Um, no, I can't... Uh, you might be able to turn it on somehow. Anyway. Um, is it in here? It's not in mods. No, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, we didn't we didn't do any of the mutated sorts things like uh, every member is a gang member, everyone's extra violent, and there was I think there was one for like all prisoners are legendary. When we next do a series on this, we'll probably do it as warden mode, and we'll have it as the most challenging possible. So we'll have all of the like difficult ones on. That will be hard. That'll be really really difficult. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll have to see how that one goes. Um, I just thought that what we could do up here, if we really wanted to, is we could dismantle that. We could have a door in... Hang on. A door... Stand door there. And then we'll brick it up. Probably have white tiles in there. We'll make this a cleaning cupboard. I did say dismantle that door, right? So what were they dismantling? Probably a light that was there. <laughs> Something like that. Come on, there we go. And we'll have that as a cleaning cupboard. Cleaning cupboard. And logistics prison labour. Oh, oh. Apparently it's just <laughs> Oh. It's classing all of that as <laughs> It's classing all that as cleaning cupboard because we haven't got the, the wall put in. How quaint. Only four. Better than nothing. Doubles our cleaning capacity because I think we've only got four janters. Yeah, we've only got four janters anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so. Would have liked to do a shakedown. Can't be done. Not happening. We've got total... We're still building stuff. Not, I know there's not a lot of heavy engineering going on, but we're still building things. Um, let me just connect up that. We'll probably go ahead and put another capacitor in. Um, yeah, we're still building things, and we're, st we're getting a lot of... A lot of... Um, a lot of money still. I mean, 79 grand, I mean, that's really, really good. For the amount of prisoners we have and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The media have started a campaign of the amenities granted to prisoners and it's bringing a lot of heat down on my office. I'm passing a bill which bans exercise equipment in prison yards. Need you to remove all weight benches from your yards. Otherwise you'll be fined. You have six hours. I'll, I can honestly take the fine. <laughs> Quite honestly. But... See, that's, this is the annoying part, look. That should be manned. That's the, that's the guy that's going to be doing it. That should be stuck there. Now it's staffed. Hmm. Anyway, do I remove all exercise equipment from the yard? I could do. See, I sort of cheat by doing that. That's no longer a legitimate yard. I'll have to sort that out later on. But what you do, you don't remove the exercise equipment. You remove the yard. So you remove that. And you remove that. Right. No exercise equipment. And this isn't what this that even what that wasn't the right size anyway. Do you see that? That was wrong. And then there you go. So we have removed there are no weight benches in the yards. Correct. These weight benches are there, but they're not in the yards. <laughs> Bureaucracy, you got to love it, right? <laughs> no, you don't. So, let's finish off or at least get this sort of done. So, this is death row. Yes, it is. It is set as death row only. That should be staff. Uh oh. That should be staff only, not death row. So should that be? 
and now we'll turn that Staffoni, but that not because if we ever have CIs, we want to we want to have a chat with them, want to interrogate them, whatever. We don't want them in this one because it's too close to this other side. Right, that's fine. So rooms parole, and that will change immediately to death row pills. No, it did not. I'll have a check with that later on. Oh, no, because it doesn't change the name. Again, another quirk of the game, I believe. So we'll put that in there. Cells. It's going to go down like that. Okay. And let's get these put in. So. Utilities go down that side. Important to note because... We want to have the drain in the bottom. We'll have the shower head there as well. Next to it, we have the toilets. Like that. And the beds. Like that. Office desks. Bookshelves. I mean, you go straight for the space bar as soon as I hear that noise. But we're going to put in the radios. And then the chairs. Like that. I think that's that's the grading. That's full grading. So that's death row. So, in terms of death row capacity, it's on zero at the moment just because of how it's working. Um, let me just check one thing that we haven't done in a while, and that is... Guard patrols, because we haven't got any. Well, we're not going to have any guard patrols in here. We are going to have an armed patrol, that's for sure. There's an armed patrol. We'll even have a dog patrol, quite honestly. We'll just set them like that. Patrol all through the middle. That's fine. We'll have... We've already got guards stationed in there. They always go there by default. <laughs> There's... Gomez, volatile and quick. We all use quick to getting hit by the taser. We do need to stop a program. We'll stop the guard taser certification. No point in that. That's all fine. So, these cells are getting sorted. We haven't checked grading for a while, so I'll do that. That was what I was going to do. Room, you can see these are grade 6. That's fine. These grades range from 2 to 6. And that, that person is entitled to a 10, but they've got a 6. And these should be the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, grade 6. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's that's all working out. Okay. I mean, that person there, look, grade 1, but is entitled to a 10. Not needs a 10, entitled to a 10. These are a 9. The only thing they haven't got is an outdoor window, which they are not going to get. So, we do have death row capacity 3. We can now go into intake. Turn that on. We don't have any death row. It does take a while to turn up, but we do have the option for it. So, we'll have metal flooring in here. And wood flooring in here. And all the way along here. Um, concrete in there. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll have a walkway. Like, does that. Actually, no, 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 no. Cancel that, cancel That's not what I wanted. Want the other way around. Um, or do I? Let's see what it's like when it's put in. Do I walk with? See, ideally you want it. I will just have it as all wood. It look okay. Should be in. Right. So, Grants, Prison Manufacturing Facility, ain't got it. Are we going to have it? Possibly. It'll go on the right hand side if we get that far. Cell Block D, increased capacity to 200. Well, we're on 111, the vault numbers, and are we going to have it? Don't know. Don't think so. 
I do want these walkways in, though. Like that. Like the idea of like a walkway. That will look quite nice. But then this should be all concrete then in that case. To give it some contrast. You can't have a green bit. Be nice to have a be nice to have a bit more materials in it. Not that you need it. Or just the option to change it. But then it'll be all over the place. It's not a necessary th necessary thing, obviously. Anyway. So this is all put in. That's put in. These no canteens accessible by this cell. They'll have nowhere to eat. Well we're aware of that. But that's not how it works. Um because these are going to be um, protective custody, which you can have, if we want to, um, permanent punishments. And we just put them on permanent punishments. That's what we'll have. Yeah, I think so. So, I think we're about done. Ah, in 12 hours, one normal, one maximum, and one death row will arrive. Right. Ports. Policy. Uh, programs, rather. Death Row Peel. We'll start that. And then what we'll do is edit the schedule. And where is our Death Row Peel? What a surprise. Shared parole. And it's not put it in the right place. Thanks, game. Reschedule all. Edit the schedule. We've got parole hearings on the morning. But we've got death row appeal in the parole shared. Which we can't have. Now it's correct. I think. Because, for whatever reason, this is... I think it's just the way the game's been done. Well, it obviously is the way the game's been done. When we first had this death row appeal, the way it works is... Um, you put a parole down. This is classed as death row appeal. But it just shows us parole. For whatever reason, and then in the scheduler, you get the death row appeal because it shows you parole, death row, parole shared, right? So that's how it, that's how it was done then. But since then, there's now a system where when you designate a certain room, it will change the name of it. So, for example, if you put a common room as staff only, it changes to sorry, a canteen staff only it changes to a staff canteen the name actually changes and it's a separate room rather than the way it does it that way so yeah it's just two different systems and there should be some parity between them but there isn't and the uh, words anyway <laughs> insert generic noise of displeasure either way we are going to call it there not a bad episode pretty much done in terms of round here uh, next episode we'll get death row We'll start seeing what happens there. We'll check them out. We'll see what they've done and read through all of that. And then we'll go ahead and build this. And that'll be the next couple of episodes, I reckon. And then it's done, pretty much. Uh, we do need to have, and I'll do it now, actually, before I forget, because otherwise it would be a bit of a nightmare. I'm going to have, in terms of our patrols, a dog patrol right round the back here. Because if we don't, then I'll forget. And then, well, people can start tunnelling. I very much doubt that we'll have anyone tunnelling round the back here. Quite honestly. I can't see it. I can't see it happening. But, I might as well check. I'm just going to have the patrol run a little bit further up there. So, we're, go uh, we're going past these protective custody and we're going past this one. And I'll pause it there because it's five seconds before the uh, prisoners turn up. So, there we go. Stopping it there. Next episode, we'll see what our death row inmates like, and we'll go through all of that process and get them into the prison and all that sort of thing. We now have, uh, well, we're researching permanent punishments. We have protective custody. I think we need to spend a little bit more time now that the prison's almost done in uh, managing the prisoners, and then we'll finish off on the right hand side. And then we'll think about maybe expanding to the far right, which will be a couple more prisoners, probably low risk, a separate canteen, and. Probably, probably go for workshop. And that'll be on the right-hand side. So that'll be an entire separate section that we won't integrate with this one, prisoners-wise. But, uh, yeah, whatever you think, let me know in the comments. And, uh, obviously, that'll alter the series, as it always does. And, hopefully, um, we'll get something that uh, people like. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings.